guys, Julius again. Um, coming with a video uh, recorded uh, on a tutorial for the Core Chronos. Uh, just kind of looking around YouTube today <clears throat> and some of the Core uh, videos and um, also some other little resources on the internet. I saw quite a few questions, uh, people asking this um, some time ago. Some of the questions were old, uh, some of them, of them were recent. So I just wanted to address this real quick to give people an idea of how this is done on the Kronos. Um, <clears throat> the question was people were wanting to know how to make a uh, WAV file out of a sequence that they could pull up on their computer using their Kronos. Um, they didn't want to just have the MIDI file or the sequence in the Kronos. They wanted to actually have a WAV file that they could export to uh, a hard drive or a flash drive and then pull it up in their computer. Uh, so I wanted to do a quick video uh, kind of uh, showcasing that ability. Let me look at timing so I can see where we are with time. Oh gosh, it's not coming up. Okay, well I'm just going to go as fast as I can um, with this and um, get this video done for you guys. Okay, we've been up a minute and something already. Okay, cool. Alright, um, so <clears throat> Basically, what I've already done, just like I've done in my other videos, uh, I just create a very, very quick, rough um, sequence. Uh, this time, again, I use the uh, Karma modules in Kronos and just played a couple of chords to create a little eight bar loop. Um, I'll let you guys hear how that sounds. Yeah, just some smooth, easy listening. Uh, I think I used the Combi Patty Dino My Internal A uh, number 76 and the Kronos default stuff. Um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to do this video just to show you guys this is a very, very easy um, concept to do on the Kronos. Uh, what you want to do, um, the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have, uh, for me personally, make sure you have a, um, a USB drive in your Kronos. Um, I just don't think um, I wouldn't want to fill my SSD drive up with a bunch of um, audio files of you know tracks that I'm doing on the Kronos unless I'm planning on using them in the uh, audio track portion of the sequencer uh, and that's not what this video is about. This video is for people that are wanting to take the WAV files and put them on another computer. So make sure you have a USB drive formatted for using the Kronos which I'm sure most of you already have. What you want to do <clears throat> is um, another thing that will probably be good even with that drive is to have a folder on the drive called WAV files. Um, I'm really um, a stickler for you know keeping files organized uh, on your drives uh, with folders and stuff like that. So it um, helps you stay organized and helps you know where things are when you get to looking for them. So anyway, um, what you're going to do is you're going to have that drive in there. You're going to go into your sequence mode in the, the area where you have your track already done. First thing you want to do is go into audio sampling tab, push that tab, and then using this um, menu drop down at the top right, you're going to push it down and there's going to be a, an option that says select directory forward slash file for sample to disk. You want to select that and what you want to do is you want to go to your drive select and you want to select your USB drive. That is um, not really explained in the help manual in the Kronos. It may be in the manual, uh, one of the parameter guide or operation guide, like the paper one, uh, but it's not on the help um, help menu when you're using the Kronos. So um, this took me a while to figure this out, um, how to make it where you could save it to the drive, because every time I did it before, it saved it to the internal hard disk. So you, again, you want to go to the audio in forward slash sampling tab in sequence mode. You want to go to the drop down menu and you want to select select directory file for sample to disk. And here you want to select the place that you want it to save. You're going to have your internal hard drive as an option or um, one of your external drives, however many you have hooked up. I only have one, so the other option would be my USB drive. So you pick that. Um, if you have... Um, 
a folder co created called uh, WAV files or something. You could select that folder and it would be saved there. Um, I'm going to create a directory. At the top right it says create a directory. So you can create a directory there. Um, you get the option to name it. I'm going to name mine uh, WAV files. Helps everything stay really nice and tidy. So then you just select that WAV files folder. Open it. And now it's telling the Kronos I want to save any files that we are uh, sampling. Uh, I want to save to this drive. So push done and now that's set. That's all you have to do there. Okay. Um, so from there, the next thing you're going to do is go back to your main page. You're going to select the drop down menu again on the top right corner of the screen. You're going to push auto hard disk record sampling setup. And this gives you a bunch of different options. Um, that you can uh, select from and it, it's like preset recording uh, modes for the Kronos. They, when you select one of these options it automatically puts the Kronos all the settings that would be optimal for you to utilize um, as far as your hard disk recording is concerned. So it already sets it up for you. So the one you want to select is the two channel mix to disk. You're going to push OK because that's going to basically take a two channel mix, a left and a right of your uh, your sequence, and it's going to put it to um, to the flash drive. So two channel mix to disk, select OK. The next thing you want to do is over here on the right side of your keyboard, you see the sampling and record. That's telling the Kronos that, hey, I want to go into sampling mode. I'm going to record something. You push sampling record, and then you push the start stop to put it in standby mode. Now all you got to do is push the start button and it automatically starts recording. So we're going to push um, start stop and we're going to record that a couple of times. Um, let the, the loop play through twice and then, uh, and then we'll stop it. So it's going to take a minute or so for that to happen. So I'm going to record that. <laughs> As soon as the sequence started playing, the Kronos automatically started recording. And when you push stop, it automatically stopped recording. So now if I go to my disk menu on the Kronos and select my USB drive as the current directory that I'm looking at, there is going to be a WAV file that has the name of your sequence. So the name of my sequence was New Song because I didn't select anything. So it's going to be New Song. Just a WAV file, so I'm looking for that on here, new song. It's in the WAV file directory, so I go to the WAV file directory, remember we created that, push open, and there it is, right there. So we're going to push play. And I don't hear anything. What just happened? Let's see. Let's try that one more time. Let's see. I'm not going to record the full eight bars this time because I don't want to waste any more time. <laughs> there. 
um, it recorded it. I went into the WAV file directory, opened it up, and there's my file right there. Push play. <laughs> So now you can take this drive out of your Kronos and insert it into your computer and be able to pull up that WAV file just like uh, any other uh, audio file or document file that you were looking for. And you could use it in your DAW or your sampler or however um, you see fit. I hope that helped. I'm sorry about that little hiccup. I'm not sure um, why the file wasn't there the first time. Um, but as you see, it does work. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please like the video and subscribe. Let me know what you guys are looking for as far as help with your Kronos or other uh, workstations. And I will do my best to create videos uh, to show you guys uh, whatever it is you need. I uh, hope this helps someone. Uh, enjoy your day and enjoy your Kronos. Thank you.